Hi! What's up guys, it's John here from Tech7.net and welcome to TGIF Phonage. I hope you people had a fantastic week. Got a cool episode for you today, so let's get some mobile news served up please. Phonage style with some uh, wasabi peas. Man, it just keeps sounding worse and worse. The HTC Incredible has been officially announced and rebranded to the Droid Incredible. Cool name, but doesn't really make sense considering the original Droid was made by Motorola. You know, different family! The Droid Incredible is sort of like a pimped out Nexus 1, but unlike the Nexus, the Incredible has an 8 megapixel camera instead of a fiver, it has sense UI, and it has that optical joystick instead of the uh, trackball. The Incredible is to hit Verizon stores on April 29th and will be available for $199.99 on contract with a $100 mail-in rebate. But you can pre-order this bad boy on April 19th. Yeah! While we're on Nexus One adaptions, Brendan Miniman of Pocket Now and Techno Buffalo reviews the HTC Desire. In this video, he walks you through the new sense UI. You can see the live weather widget, which is awesome, and apparently it's cloudy. The the new multi-widget feature, live wallpapers, and much, much more. The 007 of the phone world Salamandrin is giving away a free Nexus One, and this contest is open to everyone, don't matter where you from. Just head on over to his site, link in the underbar, and follow the instructions, there aren't too many of them. Contest ends April 23rd at noon Los Angeles time, so best of luck guys. Migo, the operating system love child between Intel's Moblin and Nokia's MIMO goes public. In this demonstration, you can see information being synced and viewed on multiple platforms. For this example, you see some happy-go-lucky Asian cartoon that's being watched on the laptop, on the TV, and eventually on the phone. I don't know what this is. All I know is that there is a sheep involved and he looks surprised. <laughs> Microsoft releases a new ad for their kin phones, previously known as Project Pink. It shows a band playing live at a house party with a bunch of people, and quite a few of them have the kin phones. Apparently, a panda bear was there too. They're all socializing with the phones, and one dude decides to take a semi-nudie picture of himself, laughs, and then shares it. Imagine if that went wrong. Yeah! Yeah! S snap! Alright! Oh, 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 snap! Alright! Send! Oh crap! What's up? Hang on, I got a message here. Give me a second. <gasps> Some quick Apple stuff. New pictures emerge on the interwebs of a possible backing for the iPhone 4G. It looks dramatically different as it's no longer rounded, and the material looks similar to the iPad. This is just speculations though. iPhone OS 4.0 gets jailbroken with red snow. This version is targeted towards developers and is not meant for the average user. Apple delays international release of the iPad to the end of May. But why? Well, it's because the US demand for the iPad was so high. Hooray! Today's theme of the day isn't really a theme, it's more of a mod. For your house! Windscape brings scenic virtual reality to life using two plasma TVs and a motion sensor. You can see the view changing when the subject moves, just like a real window. You can even change the view using their application on the iPhone. Holy crap man, there's a shark outside your window. Yeah, he named it Toby. Windscape isn't available yet, but you can check out their site for details. Which brings me to today's question. Do you think technology like Windscape, although very, very awesome, is kind of taking virtual reality too far, you know? With online social networking, you don't really need to talk to a person face to face. With Windscape, you don't need to look outside a real window and eventually you might not even need to go outside at all. Please leave your opinion by commenting or even a video response. Yeah, this means video response. This episode of Phonage is brought to you by the cutest game ever. <laughs> Okay. Last episode of Phonich, I asked, what device would you give to an older person? Killray says, I'd give an old person a 70 inch plasma TV. I don't know why, but it just sounds good. How's about two plasmas and Windscape technology and a virtual reality shark named Toby? I hope you guys enjoyed this episode of Phonich. For free mobile themes, ringtones, and wallpaper downloads, please check out tech7.net. All the stuff we talked about today, you can find the links in the underbar. Also, make sure you check out my two latest videos and this one to see how you can win this wooden iPhone case. This was John from tech7.net and I hope you guys have a fantastic weekend. Latest. Pew! Oh, ah, get the chair out of the way. I can't get the chair out of the way for this shot. <laughs>